All right, hello and welcome everybody. Today is Sunday, January 19th, 2020, and today I'm coming at you guys with floor system test number 45. A couple things I'd like to say before I get the video started. Um, I apologize if it sounds like I'm a little bit stuffy. I am, because I have a head cold, so don't mind that. Um, and number two, I'm kind of playing this video by ear. I have a lot to say, so... Um, I'll try to get through it quickly, but there may be a lot of ums. And uh, third, um, I would like to say a third thing. I'd like to give a shout out to a couple people. Um, first person I'd like to give a shout out to is YouTuber Jonathan Ryerson. I hope that's how I say his name. Um, he was watching my videos and enjoyed them and made me a video. So uh, I thought I'd give him a shout out right back. And the second person uh, I'd like to give a shout out to is my coworker Bob, um, and I will explain why in a couple minutes. So let's get right down to it here. I have the Simplex 4010 and the 4005 as per usual. Um, pole stations on the system are the same. I at least need to change the pole station on the 4005. That guy's been there forever. And uh, right now this is the uh, only addressable pull station I had to use with the 4010, the 4099-9003, so um, as far as the notification appliances for the systems on the 4005, the um, Siemens CH-MC-W chime strobe is still the same, however I lowered the pitch on it just for the fun of it, just to change things up a little bit, but what we're really looking at here is a new alarm I just got. I got this alarm last week, um, and I actually posted a picture of it last night, and um, asked a lot of you to, or asked you guys to guess uh, what you thought it was, and a lot of you actually guessed correctly, I, I actually don't have time to um, name everybody, but a shout out to all those people um, who guessed this device correctly. Now I'm going to go back really quickly to... Um, my coworker Bob, he started with us um, late last year as one of our uh, school bus drivers, and um, he hails from the fire alarm industry. We um, hang at the table at McDonald's every morning, and we were talking, and he um, explained that he uh, used to work in the fire alarm industry. He recently retired, and um, I told him about my hobby and everything, so um, he actually got me, he printed up a couple links for me to visit if I'm interested in getting into the industry a couple um, couple um, applications or whatever so that was uh, very kind of him and he also said he had some stuff sitting around in his garage um, that he might be able to uh, pass along to me from when he um, was working in the industry so um, anyway last week he brought in um, this guy for me and this is actually um, two devices in one. It, it looks a little bit weird, but what this is is it is a um, is 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 it is a um, system sensor PA four hundred W mini horn uh, with a system sensor PS twenty four LO strobe. Now, what's interesting about this is that the mini horn can is usually by itself. These devices are made for apartments and stuff like that. They um, sound very similar to um, residential smoke alarms. And these are basically made for apartments and other um, residential type applications. And uh, that's what they're best for. But you can also add the optional strobe as an accessory. So he gave me two devices and they were both brand new in box. This is the box with the uh, sounder for the sounder and this is the box for the strobe and the strobe actually there are two uh, prongs coming out of it that basically just get um, pushed right into the horn and that's how it gets power so there aren't terminals on it or anything like that but it's a really cool device the strobe is red and the horn is white so they don't really go together but these are the matching models even if they are not the matching color. So for what I was told, this is a pretty rare device. So um, thank you very much to Bob for that. He's a great guy. He and I have become pretty good friends, and um, he said he might have some more stuff in the garage that he might be able to grab for me. So um, that's our uh, alarm on NAC1 
um, of the 4010. And then uh, since this is a very low candela strobe, I thought I would get another low candela strobe in. This is the FCI FSL um, strobe I got from the old um, DuPage County Cold War bunker. Um, so that's what I have there. Really quickly, um, to go back to Bob really quick, I'll show you something else he gave me. He also gave me this neat little um, Altronics or Altronics SMP-3 um, power supply charger. It's basically an AC to DC converter, a little circuit board. Um, I don't have any use for it right now, but I might be able to find a use for it um, someday down the road. So definitely a cool little piece made for... Um, you know, fire alarm systems, security camera systems, CCTV, um, and other security systems. So, uh, thank you to him for this stuff. And uh, we're going to give this stuff a test. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do what I did the last time. I'm going to pull both the 4010 and 4005, and um, let's just get this test started. So, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, well, that was quite loud. As you guys can see, the um, FCI strobe is on that, too, so it's still flashing. Pretty low candela. I think um, I think it's like .33 candela. It's a very not bright strobe. And then um, this guy, I want to say, uh, is 5 candela, maybe? Something like that. I did read the spec sheet, and it was um, not very much at all. So anyway, I'm going to set the camera down. Well, I uh, reset these pulsations as usual. In a second here, I have something else to show you guys. All right. Anyway, let me uh, put a reset in the 4010 and a reset in the 4005. So anyway, um, there you guys go. I apologize for the pounding noise upstairs. So anyway, um, that was about it. This is the other thing I was going to show you guys. This afternoon, I drove down to Lyle. I told you guys I was going to um, consider picking up some fire alarm wire that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. And I did. Here it is. This is Belden um, 6322FL fire alarm wire. It's not quite what I was expecting, but... I got pretty much this is a this is a thousand feet of wire I got for only 30 bucks this afternoon so um, like I said it's not quite what I was expecting it's shielded wire and it actually has four wires if any of you know how this is supposed to be um, if there's an easier way to peel this back besides using my fingernails which really sucked um, then that'd be great but I would like to ultimately change out all this um, crappy white speaker wire with this stuff and I wouldn't be using these wires I would just have to cut those short but here are the um, red and white wires um, you know what I don't think it got the reset request let's try that again there we go system reset in progress so it's not what I was looking for I was actually looking for something that was like closer to this this is what I was looking for, but like I said, you know, it's only 30 bucks, so, but I'm thinking about starting to transition my wiring over to this stuff. So if anyone knows an easy way to peel this stuff and work with it, um, do let me know because this stuff looks like it's going to be a pain. But like I said, I only got it for 30 bucks, so not bad. Anyway, the video is almost 10 minutes long. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching today. I'll let you guys know... Uh, uh, any more stuff I get and uh, hopefully I'll have the next system test for you guys pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching and that will be it.